Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to create this little hover box with an icon that when you hover on it, it drops down and reveals some text. And it only does that when you actually hover over the little blue section at the top. Now we did one yesterday that comes up from the bottom here. But we've got to take a different approach for this today because with this one we can have it jumping up with a margin. This one we've actually got to change the length of the box. Now this has all been inspired by a plugin we've been demonstrating recently called Divi Image Hover that gives you 250 of these wonderful little image hover effects. And they've got a sale on at the moment. I'll put the link below the video if anybody wants to use this or check it out. But today we're building ours from scratch, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable my Visual Builder. Okay, so I've got a section here, the blue tab, and within the section there's a row with two columns. I'm going to be working on the second column here today. Like most image detects hover effects, the way this is going to work today is we're going to have the image in the actual column itself, and we'll have a module on top that comes in like this one here. So let's get started. I'm going to add a blurb module because it's really useful for the actual icon itself. There we go and text wise I'll leave the title exactly as it is. I might put some more content in there. I've simply got some lorem ipsum dummy text here. There we go. Just gives us a bit more to play with as we've got a fairly large area as I've only made it two columns. Image and icon, I want to use an icon so I'm going to flip the switch to on. We're still on the content tab of our blurb. Now we're going to go down the page, I'm going to use a little down arrow of some sort. Obviously you choose whatever works for you. I don't particularly want to link this module but if you do you can link the title up here or you can link the whole module right here. If you're going to your own site, keep it in the same window. If you're navigating off the site, I'd open it in a new tab. That way your site stays open. Now background wise, I'm just going to give this a color. And let's give it blue. And I'm going to pull up the opacity down a bit because when we put an image behind it, I want to be able to see a bit of the image, but we can adjust this more later on. So I left clicked on there. I'm going to pull this slider down. This is opacity or transparency. We can readjust that in a moment if we need to. Okay, let's move on to our design tab. The image and icon. I'm going to try and make my icon similar size to that one. I'm going to make it white in color. I'm not going to put a circle around it top's fine. Uh, use icon font size. I can bring it down a bit with that one. That'll work. Now the text, I'm going to align my text to the middle. And I also want to make it light in color so we can see it a bit better. There we go. Fantastic. Not going to put any box shadow. If you want to, you can affect the title text and the body text separately. I could just perhaps make that capitalized, semi bold. We're on the title right here, as you can see. A little bit bigger. Fantastic. Okay. Spacing wise, I want a little bit of padding at the top there to bring that icon down a little bit. So I'm going to say, say five pixels. I think that that's going to work okay. And on the bottom, I want a bit more, so I'll put 50 pixels. But I'm going to give this column a height in a minute, so we may need to adjust this a bit more. And let's squish our text in by giving it some padding left and right. and hit the chain, it'll put the right side in for you. Great, well that's kind of shaping up. Now what I'm gonna do is go into my row, 
I'm going to save this, go into the row, which is the green tab up here for the row. We're working on column two here, so I'm going to go to column two. I'm going to go down to background and put an image in. You've got color gradient, image or video. I'll quickly select the same images I used before, that one. Okay, now what I want to do today is make this column the same exact height as this one, which was 400. I mean, you make yours whatever height you want to contain the, the amount of text and information you've got in there. So I'm going to advance, I'm going to custom CSS, and in the main element itself, I'm just gonna write height. 400 pixels px as you can see we've got a little bit of a gap down the bottom there so we'll adjust that in a minute in the module that's pretty much all I want to do to this column because everything else to make this work today we'll do in the actual module so we'll save this I'll put this little bit of CSS below the video you're welcome to copy it save our main row module now let's go back into the actual module itself the dark tab here and I'll give it another say five pixels on the bottom so I'm going to design tab to spacing here's the bottom let's give it another five pixels. will that do it yep that'll do it fine okay to make this actually work today when, when we're not hovering over it, I just want to see the image and not this text here. And I want to have that icon at the top, just like I want on the left here. And when we are hovering over it, I want it to scroll down and fill and show the information. So to do that today, I need to change the height of this thing. So still on the design tab, I'm going to close spacing. I'm going to go into sizing. I'm going to go down to height down here and if you hover over any of this dark legending you'll get some icons pop up if there's a little arrow there it'll let you set a hover state and a regular state so if I click on the arrow I've got a desktop or non hover state and a hover state when your arrow is on it so for our desktop I just want to show the top of this let's give it a height of say 60 picks we'll try 60 we may need to adjust that actually that's pretty close <laughs> I think that will actually work I'll just take it down a little bit more but of course we don't want to see that we don't want to see that um, text in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my advanced tab to go down to visibility and we've got horizontal overflow and vertical I'm going to switch both of these to hidden and as you can see that's disappeared fantastic now if we go back to design to sizing again when we hover over it we can make that height we know this is 400 we can try 400 that should work pretty well so let's go back down We've got our height open here. Let's go to our hover. The little arrow state. Let's try 400. Perfect. There we go. So when we're hovering over it, we're going to see this whole thing here. When we're not hovering over it, we're just going to get the little top part there. Now, default time that it takes once we start hovering over it to fill out the thing is 300 milliseconds which is pretty quick I'm going to slow mine down for a bit of drama by going to advanced and transitions there's the default 300 mils right there I'm going to take mine up to about 6 or even 650 don't want any delay I want it to happen as soon as they put their mouse over it and my favorite transition speed curve for this is ease in ease out Check out these other ones, they all do subtly different things, it will work different in situations, but that's my choice for this particular effect. 
So if we've done everything correctly, that should now work for us. Okay, let's exit the Visual Builder. Now if you notice that when I hover over the image itself nothing happens. When I go up to the actual icon and the blue section there, it scrolls down. It takes about 0.65 of a second. And that's a nice little effect for info boxes and things like that. I can take that icon down a bit to match this one. Once you've got one done, of course you can copy it across and use it multiple times. So there you have it. There's to how to have an image with icon to text reveal on hover. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful today. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.